Welcome to Easy Physiology and Research Pro. Today's high yield short dives into renal clearance and glomerular filtration rate, two cornerstones of renal physiology and clinical medicine. Whether you're aiming for NEAT PG, USMLE, or MRCP, understanding these concepts can be the difference between a right or wrong answer and a right or wrong diagnosis. We're breaking down key definitions, formulas, physiological principles, markers like inulin and creatinine, and their clinical application in kidney function, drug dosing, and disease staging. This is not just textbook material. This is what saves lives in hospitals. Renal clearance tells us how efficiently kidneys remove a substance from plasma. Measured in milliliter per minute, the formula is Cx equals Ux times V over Px, where Ux is urine concentration, V is urine flow rate, and Px is plasma concentration. This isn't just a calculation, it's your window into how the kidneys are handling any solute. Clearance helps us map what's happening inside the nephron. If clearance is less than GFR, reabsorption is likely. If it's more, secretion is at play. If equal, the substance is freely filtered with no tubular handling. A physiological detective story. Every result has a tale to tell. GFR is the glomerular filtration rate, the volume of plasma filtered per minute by all functioning glomeruli. Normal is about 125 milliliters per minute in a healthy adult. It's the vital sign of the kidney, more fundamental than blood pressure in nephrology. GFR is not arbitrary. It depends on net filtration pressure, the balance of glomerular capillary pressure, Bowman's pressure, and oncotic forces, and filtration coefficient, which includes surface area and permeability. Add renal blood flow and neurohumeral control, and you have a dynamic filtration engine. Inulin is our perfect GFR marker. Freely filtered, not secreted or reabsorbed, and not metabolized. But it's not practical for routine use, it's a research tool, not a bedside ally. Creatinine, a muscle metabolism byproduct, is used daily. Slightly secreted, it overestimates GFR mildly. But it's convenient, cost-effective, and forms the base of equations like cockcroft galt and CKDEPI. Imperfect, but indispensable. Urea's clearance underestimates GFR due to partial reabsorption. It fluctuates with hydration and protein intake. Still useful, but not alone, always interpret in clinical context. GFR helps us stage chronic kidney disease. Adjust drug dosing for renally excreted medications like digoxin and aminoglycosides, and evaluate kidney function in transplant candidates. In practice, GFR isn't optional, it's essential. If urine creatinine is 100 mg per deciliter, plasma creatinine is 1 mg per deciliter, and urine flow is 1 milliliter per minute, then GFR equals 100. That's normal, a textbook kidney. But remember, numbers lie without context. Age decreases GFR. Sex and muscle mass alter creatinine production. Protein intake changes glomerular dynamics. Medications like NSAIDs or ACE inhibitors can push the filtration curve up or down. The clearance ratio, CX over sinulin, helps decode tubular behavior. Greater than 1 suggests secretion. Less than 1, reabsorption. It's a diagnostic magnifying glass, simple math, powerful insight. Use PAW clearance to assess renal plasma flow. Use FENA to evaluate sodium handling. Use lithium clearance to probe proximal tubular function. Functional diagnostics, nephrology's precision tools. Cockcroft Galt. MDRD, and CKDEPI are tools of daily use. But watch for their limits. Extremes of body weight, pregnancy, or muscle mass make estimates shaky. Always think before you quote an EGFR. An elderly man with creatinine of 2.5 and fatigue. His GFR has likely plunged. This is chronic kidney disease in progress. Start staging. Start planning.
his kidneys are whispering for help. A young athlete with creatinine of 1.4 and a high-protein diet. Is this renal dysfunction or just more muscle mass? Creatinine can be misleading. In such cases, consider using Cystatin C. Renal clearance isn't just physiology, it's pharmacology. Drug half-lives lengthen, toxicity risks soar, and narrow therapeutic windows demand precision. Adjust dosages, save kidneys, save lives. Clearance tells us how plasma is purified. GFR is the benchmark. Creatinine is the workhorse, but context is king. Always combine physiology with clinical reasoning. That's how good doctors are made. Inulin, gold standard. Creatinine, common use. PAH, for flow. Clearance less than GFR, think reabsorption. Clearance more, think secretion. And always, always, interpret with care. Subscribe to Easy Physiology and Research Pro for more physiological concepts.